So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on the boot tab. And now you wanna select safe boot. You wanna tick this box and then click on okay. Now you wanna click on restart. It's now gonna take us into safe mode. And then once you're on safe mode, you wanna head over to search and type in run. Click on it. And then once this comes up, you're gonna type in temp. Click on enter. And now this will come up. We're gonna delete all the files in this folder. So you wanna do Control A on your keyboard and then click on delete. And then once that's been done, we're gonna head over to search again and type in run, click on enter. And now this time we're gonna type in percent temp percent, click on enter. And now we're gonna do the same thing. So do Control A and then delete. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in system configuration, click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna to go to the boot tab you now want to untick safe boot. You want to untick safe boot and then click on OK. And then click on restart. It's going to take us back into normal Windows. And then once you're back on Windows, you want to head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on scan options. And now you want to select full scan and then click on scan now. You want to run this full scan. It will take a while. Now after you complete this full scan, you now want to run a Microsoft Defender offline scan. Click on scan now and then click on scan and then click on yes. It's now gonna shut down your computer and then run this second scan. And then once you complete both these scans, the virus will be removed. 